Welcome back to the Papa Meat channel. How you doing? How you doing? Come on in and sit on down. We have a sad one today. The creator of Yu-Gi-Oh, Kazuki Takahashi, has passed away. He definitely inspired me as a young age uh, with sh all those comics and the Shonen Jump magazines. And today I just wanted to take time and draw some of this legendary creator's work. And we're going to be drawing Yugi, Joey, and of course, the rich boy, little rich fuck, Kaiba. And uh, let's get into it. Y'all move! Yu-Gi-Oh! So first we have Yugi. Remember Yugi was like a four foot three like incel and then he would put on a Millennium Falcon and have a, or Millennium Puzzle, fuck. Then he'd put on the Millennium Puzzle thing, have an epileptic seizure and turn into like a six foot eight Chad. So we're gonna draw the Chad version of him cause fuck that little tater tot prick. <laughs> I just feel like I want to give him a regular face. Something kind of sexy. Someone that would make all the girls stop and say, Oh my God, does that kid play Yu-Gi-Oh? My panties are wet. I got moist panties. I don't think if I ever, if a girl ever said it to me, I don't think I'd ever actually be turned on. <laughs> if I'm being honest. I don't know about this face. I feel like he, he looks like Billy Eilish. I the bad guy. Duh. <laughs> I the bad guy. Mind crush. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. This one, it, it's not reading very well to me. I think it needs to be more, it needs to capture more of that anime vibe. Also, this is looking too much like a goblin, or it looks like, it looks like a lot of people I've seen on TikTok, actually. It looks like Daniel Larson. Is there an imposter among us? Yeah, it looks like a, it looks like a goblin. That's not gonna work. His body needs to feel like his hair is the is the majority of what's happening here. Like if we did like had him kind of hanging by his hair, maybe his hair stepped around like a little spider, like that Will Smith movie, like that fucking monster and criminal Will Smith who slaps people with his freak wife. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth! <laughs> <laughs> I remember in third grade, there was a kid. He spiked his hair like that a little bit, and he used, like, spray paint with chemicals in it. Like, I think he used legitimate spray paint, and his head got horribly irritated and burned, and now he, like, he lost, like, a bunch of his hair. Yeah, he just went bald. He was a fucking prick anyways, fuck him. Now he's kind of hanging out. He's hanging in here in his legs. It's a bit chaotic, but we'll clean it up. I have to color coat these fucking hairs because it, it's getting, it, it's getting too absurd. I, I'm losing track of where all the lines are going. That's a brutal first episode or first couple episodes his, his grandpa gets kidnapped like twice <laughs> i guess he doesn't get kidnapped by kaiba but he's still just like yugi for fuck's sakes he wouldn't let me leave he like made me duel and i lost yugi i fucking lost kaiba was like i'm gonna buy your blue eyes white dragon and he's like oh <laughs> well, the, well okay so another thing is if he has the fucking exodia card which just like wins you the game why is that not a more sought after thing but anyways he comes in he's just like i've come to buy your fucking blue eyes white dragon old man Whoop, sorry uh it's not for sale. Oh, really? <laughs> Gets fucking basically borderline blackmailed and fucking uh, kidnapped by like an 18 year old sociopath billionaire. <laughs> and the other part is him just getting his fucking soul trapped. I also like how Yugi doesn't do anything to like, he doesn't call the authorities or anything. He's just like, okay, well, I, I guess we're gonna have to play in a tournament. It's like, I at least would call the cops and be like, or, or somebody. I guess to be fair, what, co what cop is gonna believe that shit? <laughs> yeah, what a fucked up couple first episodes for that grandpa. <laughs> Say goodbye to Exodia! What a fucking nerd, dude. I hated that little dude. Mm, let me see this. Oh, the pieces of Exodia. He's like, ah! Just throws it off immediately. And then Yugi's such a pussy. He's just like, oh, why'd you do that? And he's like, see you later. And that's it. That's all that happens to him. God, dude, what a fucking pushover. He, that's all you say to the dude. Why'd you do that? And yeah, Joey's just like, where the fuck is he, Yugi? I'll, I'll kill him right now with my bare hands. I'll do it. I'll find that cocksucker and I'll kill him. You hear me? Yeah, I hear ya. He'll die tonight. I'll strangle him in his sleep, Yugi. I'll make him eat fucking cockroaches. Boom! Nice little Yugi sitting there. I like to imagine that he crawls around like a little spider. He just crawls around. It's very nice. It's very cute here. If only he could have been this brave and heroic when his grandpa got fucking assaulted and continuously battered as an old man. Whoa! How about a word from our sponsor? Today's video is sponsored by my friends at SeatGeek, the premier ticketing app for all the hottest events. Let's say someone like Rammstein or Doja Cat are announcing a tour. What are you gonna do, not go? I mean, come on, don't lie to yourself. You're gonna go. 
But the big problem is whenever you decide to go to these concerts, where do I buy the tickets? Ticket prices are coming from left, right, up, down. It's all over the place. I don't know who to trust. And that's why I use SeatGeek. All you gotta do is pull out your phone, hop on the app, and grab yourself some tickets. Bing, bang, boom. Bing, bang, boom. Bing, bang, 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 boom, boom, boom. SeatGeek also flags the best deals for you. Green dots mean good, and red dots mean stay away. After checkout, the tickets get sent to your device. It's that simple. Do yourself a favor and click the link in the description and download the SeatGeek app. There, use promo code PAPAMEAT to get $20 off your first order of tickets. You know what that is? That's a, that's a little extra merch at the, at the event, huh? You want a little Rammstein keychain at the event? You want a little Doja Cat panties? Thank you, Seat Geek. And now, back to the video. Uh, all right, go on to Joseph, the main boy Joey. His forehead's fucked. You just have to imagine that he has a giant tumor underneath that head, so that's probably the angle I'm gonna, I'm gonna be taking. I like the idea of Joey having this large fucking humunculus head, and he's just is like constantly talking, babbling on about his goddamn blind sister. I kind of got the vibe that Joey wanted to hook up with his sister. Like, he was just like, you don't even believe, you can't even imagine how much I want to help her. Which, first off, that always pissed me off as a kid, because even as a kid, I was like, you get like pirate treasure or something for winning the tournament. Joey's just like, Yugi. It's, it's unbelievably expensive. I'm like, is it gonna be that expensive though? It's just, it felt weird. It's also like, hey, uh, my grandpa's fucking soul is being taken. I don't think I really give a fuck about your blind ass sister who's totally healthy besides that. I, have, I can't let her down. I've let her down before. Mostly when I threw all that battery acid in her eyes and blinded her. <laughs> that, that's the kind of universe I want to be in is where Joey's the one who actually blinded his sister. I have to pay back my debts or I'm going to hell. <laughs> I'm a Christian Yugi. If I don't do this, I'll burn in hell for all eternity. I have Joey here. This is him just marching forward for his sister, but his giant fucking tumor head. Kind of looking like Rocky Dennis uh, from the movie Mask. Got some elephantitis in his face or something, but my God, he looks beautiful. I remember like the very first episode, Joey is like, hey Yugi, you look like a fucking idiot, you short gremlin. And then Joey gets his ass kicked. And then Yugi's like, well, Joey, your deck is full of monsters. What are you, we're talking? <laughs> Ah, uh, you're pretty good at this dueling thing, huh, Yugi? He never apologizes. He's just like, okay, we're friends. You're like, oh, okay, that feels earned. <laughs> did Joey did Joey hook up with any of the girls in the show? Oh, I don't know. There's the harpy chick. Remember the harpy chick that had that and she had the big ass titties? Please crush me. I remember as a kid, I think I jacked off to her at least once. At least once, bro. I'm human. May. The name's Mai. I think there was a full episode where May gets finger fucked by Joey. Really? Could I see it? Hey, don't be telling nobody I'm doing this now. Whatever you say, Joey. I tell you about my sister? Yes, you told me about your sister. Okay. She's blind. You know, I'm doing all this for her, right? That's jo This is Joey on his way to get a Cosmo Queen from eBay. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, can I get your login information so I can get my Cosmo Queen? God, what a disgusting prick. Very accurate though. Last but certainly not least is Kaiba. Arguably my favorite character in the show. I like that he's rich. I like that he is a dick to everybody. You're a third rate duelist with a fourth rate deck. I remember in the movie, he's like flying in to meet Yugi somewhere and he's in a giant blue eyes white dragon like jet. This motherfucker is obsessed, which is why we're gonna have to give him, he's gonna have to have a tattoo at some point. Guessing Kaiba's net worth. I wanna say it's something ridiculous, like over, like way over the fucking top. Like I'm gonna say 50 billion. <laughs> Kaiba's net worth is $90 trillion? Is it just for the dual monsters thing? Thinking about even just like Bezos, he's like, not even a tr not even one trillion. $90 trillion. My God. What kind of innovation is this man doing to get that kind of wealth? So this is Kaiba here. This is him in his nice little glory. Got a nice little heavily compressed blue eyes white dragon PNG here. Just gonna shrink this down. Oh yeah, that's sick. I mean, this is realistically what would be the tattoo he would have too. I'm almost positive. Look at that, dude. It's time to do, 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 do. All right, so we have a rat pack here. Nice, nice, nice brawl in the alleyway. But what would you go be without the famous duel monsters? So we're gonna do a speed drawing challenge. That's right, we're gonna do each one of these guys' uh, famous monsters. So Yugi would be Dark Magician. <laughs> Joey, we're just gonna do Time Wizard, and then we're gonna do uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon for Kaiba. And each of these, we're gonna give 60 seconds, so three minutes in total. I'm not gonna use my stylus, I'm using my Razor Mouse. This isn't sponsored. Hey Razor, 
Hook a guy up with some mouse, huh? Be sucking dick for mice in there. This was not cheap. Also, uh, actually, I want to make this a challenge. I want to see other people's 60 second drawings, even in, if it's in Microsoft Paint. I want to see your dark magicians. All right, here we go. Fuck, this is going to be difficult. This is going to be difficult because the fucking armor they wear is crazy. Three, two, one, go. I feel very, I don't, I don't feel good about this drawing. <laughs> Massive arms. Why did I give him such large arms? Fuck. <sighs> do, do I have time to at least fill him in and color him? Yeah. Okay. This isn't too bad. I think it, it could have been a lot worse. I'm actually happy with this guy. I think it's good. This is the level of quality though. I expect dual master or like the dual monsters to come out whenever you like play it. I summon dark magician. <laughs> it's like, sh 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 and it looks just like this. I like his head. It kind of looks like a little, uh, like a little thumb coming out from the top of it, doesn't it? Hello. All right, time wizard next. I feel pretty confident about this. He's pretty simple. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> this is actually harder than the other one. <laughs> Fuck, this is so bad. Why is this harder? All these fucking circles is what it is and this stupid ass fucking top hat. Ah, ah. Okay, this is oddly way, like his design is so much more simple, but this was so much more, it was way harder. This was very difficult. I really didn't get to get all the gears on his shoulders. He's kind of cute. This is like actually, I kind of like, these designs are actually kind of cool. I like them. Are you keeping up, viewer? Are you doing this along with me? I hope so. All right, and then to accompany the main man himself, I gotta do myself a nice little blue eyes white dragon. Three, two, one, go. There's a lot of detail I'm noticing, and like, I gotta simplify this way, way quicker. Okay, I mean, I got what I could. I got, <laughs> I got what I could with it. I was gonna give him, I was gonna give him this. And then all I'm, I feel like all I wanna do to color him in though, realistically, is I just, I just wanna like, <laughs> I feel like that's all I wanna do with him. And then he could, yeah, Blue Eyes White Dragon, right? <laughs> so we have our collection of fighters here, or our monsters. You know what? I think they look kinda cute. Dare I say they look pretty cute. To accompany, the nice duelists themselves. And we just want to say here at the Pop and Me channel, rip to an absolute fucking legend. You know, take some time to draw some of these Yu-Gi-Oh characters as well. Look at some of those old cards, read some of the manga, you know, do what you got to do. Also, if you notice back here, we got new shelves made by LED Baseline. It's a shelving company in Denver, Colorado. They sent us some beautiful shelves, so please check them out. We'll leave a little dis uh, link in the description. But also, we have to fill these shelves, and I want to fill them with horror tapes. So if you got a big bin of horror films lying around, uh, I will leave my P.O. box in the description there, and we're just we're trying to fill this thing up with horror tapes. So if you got any to spare or any Yu-Gi-Oh tapes, you know, anything of that nature, uh, send it to us, and we'll put it up on the shelf. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. We will see you next week. Bye-bye.